The Billboard 200 has a double dose of K-pop this week, with entries from BTS and Jung Hyung marking only the second time America's definitive album ranking has seen two Korean entries. On the February 3rd tally, where Fall Out Boy's new Mania album reigns at number one, the K-pop boy band's Love Yourself Her spends its 16th week on the chart, falling from number 82 to number 90. As previously reported, Jung Hyun's posthumous Poet Artist release debuts at number 177. Now, only 11 total K-pop acts have charted on the Billboard 200 ever, and the last time two different albums were on the ranking was in 2014, when a heated rivalry between two of the top girl groups led to an exciting chart battle. Now, can you guess who it was between? Well, if you yelled out Girls' Generation and 21, then you are correct. It was during the time when the ladies of GG were preparing their new Mr. Mr. EP, which experienced setbacks in the release after errors with the music video footage and an early digital leak of the record. While fellow girl group Sensations 21 were gearing up for their long-awaited second full-length album, Crush, an LP that was promised for years before, but seemed nowhere in sight as the band continued to release one-off singles through 2012 and 2013. The time worked out perfectly for the band's highly anticipated releases to battle one another on the charts, with fans and the media pitting the outfits against one another to see who would reign supreme. On the Billboard 200 dated March 15, 2014, Mr. Mister debuted at number 110, while Crush debuted at number 61, proving that 21 was in fact the front runner. Both sets marked new highs for K-pop acts on the chart at the time, with both acts scoring number one singles in their native Korea. While the circumstances of this week's pair of K-pop albums are obviously much different than they were in 2014, it's still exciting to see a healthily growing K-pop market in America and a double appearance of K-pop albums. Now for more specifics on this story, you can head to Billboard.com. And until next time, for Billboard News, I'm Chelsea Briggs.